What is up guys, Greed and Pride here coming at you. I have not posted in a while because I've kind of been focusing on Deadlock. I'm trying to get good enough to uh, commentate while I play. Absolutely nowhere near that yet. So we're going to do a quick replay. A uh, little warning, it gets a smidge toxic. I'm on like a four game loss streak. So this was like game five. I lost four games in a row. I was pretty upsetty spaghetti and I kind of take it out on my lane opponent, but, you know, morally, is that right, is that wrong? I don't know, I'm just saying I did it. So here's the game. I started three, um, not sure what this little hairdo thing is. So I'm gonna get absolutely lambasted here. In my, in my mind, she is more of a uh, late game opponent. So I wasn't really like, Right off the gun, I wasn't really expecting this much damage from her. So I do kind of get poked pretty hard in the first couple exchanges. I just don't respect her early game enough. That's all on me. So she's poking, she's poking. I'm just focusing on uh, farming here. I'm not insanely good or anything. This just happens to be a really good match. I don't know what's going on with that hair. Like fish in a barrel. Go down to 70 health there, but I end up living. Just kind of the poking up some damage. I go for my the first pie here in a second. Give her the old steak a rooney. Steak, not a super powerful ability, unless I'm just bad at it. I very seldomly hit it, so that's probably my fault, but even when I do hit it, I just don't think it's that powerful, really, compared to the rest of her kit. I'm going to be maxing two here. Uh, two is the whole reason I play Vindicta. I think two's very powerful. You're going to see some wonky ults later, too, so don't hold that against me. Still, still learning the game. This is actually my only, like, uh... Swing by any time. Well, I'm not going to say my only PC shooter because I play Hunt Showdown. But mostly, I usually play shooters on controller. So I'm still not up to snuff on just aiming and shooting. Give her a little kill right off the bat. She didn't respect that I was full health. So I just had to do it to her. Again, getting a little toxic here. That was like my first kill in like an hour. So, I was quite happy with that. I go healing right first. Not usually my go-to first buy, but she was kind of poking me down so hard. I just decided to. It's going to end up being a massive purchase. I used this thing a hundred times this match. So, definitely a big purchase. I don't regret it at all. Need some elevation. I will soar and they will die. Level up my right two there. there. So my system is I put a point into the crow so that they bounce. Then I put a point, two points into the crow to lower the cooldown, and then I max two after that. That's my strategy. To get crow, to get pretty strong, and then max two. Because I think the uh, the perk you get by maxing two is way stronger than the perk you get by maxing three. I don't know what just hit me. I remember being very confused, like, I felt like I got hit from behind, but I don't know. Max and her 2 is going to give us spirit damage on every single bullet we shoot while floating. Max and her 3 only does, like, heal reduction, I think, which is good. It means you don't have to buy heal reduction. It's in your kit. I like that. I'm just saying spirit damage on every bullet is better. If you like Squizzit, isn't it? Finishing out my tier 1s. Uh, those are the only four tier ones I ever buy. Not like I'm super good, not like I'm telling you what to do, I'm just saying. Personally, I have some pretty good Vindicta games, and I, those are really the only tier ones I ever buy. Really just focusing on uh, denies. I have a lot of denies this match. You can see that I have almost double her money right now. A lot of that is from the knives. She kind of catches on as laning phase goes on. She starts to get back a little bit. But for the most part, I really, I really dig these 
denies him. I wanted to go in there, but then I realized my two and one were both on cooldown. So I wait a couple seconds, I go in. Totally whiffed that stake. That was smart of her to not keep running. I just give up. The two doesn't last very long yet. So. I'm tired of playing fair. Grabbing the alt. I do get some pretty spicy ults. I also miss some pretty spicy ults. We live in interesting times, don't we? I usually get uh, bullet heal first, but I already had healing right, so I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna go the, the long shot. So now my gun has less fall off, so my I do full damage at a longer range. I think she tried to hold me there or something. Boom, right in the foot. I got those toesies, dude. I got them right in the toesies. She might have whiffed her ult. Not 100% sure why she jumped in with such low health. I mean, obviously she was trying to ult me, but I guess my two got me out of range. I don't do as much jungling in this game as I think I should. I think I was all mentally worn out from just losing. So I think I was like kind of scared. I'm like, I don't want to get caught out. I don't want to die. I've died jungling a couple times already. Dead. I'm just going to focus on lane. I get some slowing bullets. Every time I shoot her, it slows her down. Makes it easier to just stay on her. Especially when you're above her with the two. You got a really good angle as they're trying to run away from you to just keep slamming them, keep giving them those bad shots to slow them down. Just she just ganked my lane, got an easy kill, which kind of sucks because I was keeping her so far behind. I literally had almost double her money, and then she got that one kill, and now we're she's only about a thousand behind. This is just the beginning. So I don't know if there's some kind of like enemy missing ping, kind of like league that I could have done. I, I just don't really know that kind of stuff yet. I'll be stacking bodies all night. Oh, the hair glitch went away. That's good. I make my own opportunities. Playing a little passively. I kind of let the opponent make the mistakes here. So she's staying in lane even though she's very low. Again, I think I'll she thinks... In her brain, I think she can just Find jump in and hold me. But she's just... I mean, I have my two. She just doesn't seem that good. Not like, again, not like I'm great, but she just doesn't really seem that good, so... I'm not 100% sure why she's staying with such low health. I think she's just sitting around the corner doing a little farming. Headshot. I just cannot, for the life of me, finish her off though. It's a real shame. She has like a Stay millimeter put. health. I was hoping that stake would get her through the door, maybe. But again, I've been dying on repeat all day. Stay two steps ahead of death, my friend. I really just don't want to die again. So I let her live. I see her going away. Take a couple hot shots. I would rather her get away than me die here. That's where my mentality is at right now. Plus, I get the tower, I pushed her out of lane. That's all that really matters. Get some free farm here. I don't buy boots on Big Dicta. I don't know if that's right, if that's wrong. Really, in my mind, my two gets me out of there. If my two doesn't get me out of there, I die. That's where my headspace is for not buying boots. Maybe I'll buy boots in the future once I get a little more comfortable with the game. These two, not very good. I don't know if they were a duo or if they just were both kind of beginners, but they do not do too hot this game. And that was funny that they were both just kind of like crouched in the corner together there. So I go back to my own lane here. She is all up in my business. Giving me the good suck. Pretty 
pretty not all right trade there. I do have a decent amount of healing in my kit, but so should. I missed the bird. I never noticed that there's a laser there. This is the first time noticing there's like a laser. Stay put. Hit her with the stake there. I didn't even know the shiv was here. I hit her with the stake at the perfect time for the shiv to jump on her. Chase her down this here. Just I'm beginning. just absolutely missing everything. I'm probably about to die here if that shiv didn't jump in and save me. Completely unearned teabag. She was going to kill me if that shiv wasn't there, probably 100%. But no one hides she doesn't have that. Bad. Come over here. Do a pretty bad game. Kind of just reminding them that I'm still here. Didn't really expect to get too much off that. Just kind of razzling them a little. Our purple guardian is being destroyed. I'm still feeling pretty good. I haven't died yet. Team's a little behind, but I mean, what's 5,000 gold between friends? Completely forget to heal there. Don't know what happened. I just straight up was like, oh, I'm back in base. I can leave again. Didn't even wait to heal. The birds will deal with them. Me and that Yamato over there, we have we have an exchange later. She's not like how uh, sassy I'm being in this game. Uh, we'll see that when it happens. The crows obey. Spoiler alert, I kind of bully this seven this game. I don't know if he was new or what, but I kind of give him the business this game. Missed the snipe there. I guess I don't even take the shot. Abrams takes it. I didn't even get an assist there. I was a little annoyed, but it's whatever. In this Abrams, do a little push. Still just pushing. Hit that seven with the, uh, the Wombo combo. I hit him with the, the crow. I hit him with the stake. He ults me for some reason. And boom. Double ult. That is going to be a pattern that you're going to see here. I think he thinks his ult is kind of like haze or it just melts you. But it kind of doesn't. So two little ults. I kill him. I hit him with the question mark up there. <laughs> a classic, classic BM. A really bad habit I hit. Oh, okay, I don't do it yet. You're going to see a very bad habit I have. Them. Stay right there. Get me the hell out of here. I kind of panic a little bit there because I don't get the zip line as quickly. Uh, this is the bad habit. I always, once laning ends, I go all the way back to base to buy. I don't know why. It's like ingrained in my brain to just go all the way back to base to buy, like League. Because League's the only MOBA experience I have. So after landing phase, boom, you'll see me do this every single time. I go all the way back to base. They A bad habit I have to get rid of. Us. Someone's gonna be bleeding. Bought that off a of Nickabaka that was about to get his legs broken. Finish off my tier twos there. I get some bullet armor and I get some uh, bullet resist shred when you do magic damage. So if you get the crow on him, or if you're in your two, since you shoot magic bullets. Both of those, and then the tether, obviously, as well. All of that lowers the opponent's bullet resist, which is nice. I tethered her out of her teleport, which I didn't even know you could do. I think I definitely would have killed this girl here. If I knew that I was going to tether her out of her teleport. Mo gets a big ult over here. It's like the only thing he does the entire game. Throw that right. 
And that McGinnis completely whiffs that wall. We, can't, we probably could have killed him if she hit that wall. But everybody's learning the game. I have bad games. I mean, I've had a few. I think they're definitely some kind of duo. I throw my healing right on him because I kind of feel bad for him. He doesn't. He's not doing too hot. I think I finally start to feel comfortable enough to do a little jungling here. I think the, like the the uh, the crippling fear of just like getting caught out and dying kind of dissipates, which is not good. Because spoiler alert, I get caught out and a I die eventually. So to be maybe that fear is a good thing. Stick around. I kind of do some some Texas action up here, some sniper on the roof action up in the bell tower. I don't really do too much. The, uh, the game isn't designed for this kind of gameplay, because bullet fall off is very, very abrupt. The bullets stop doing damage. I missed that snipe. I didn't realize this dude was up here with me. Totally my fault. He was shooting me in the back, and I just like wasn't realizing it. So I get away. He might have been able to chase me and kill me. Because my 2 still has a 12 second cooldown, and without it I'm pretty weak, but he doesn't. There also exists a world where I just left click him to death if he does that. Because I do heal for my bullets, so... He doesn't do it. Here's my bad habit. I do have to heal here, so I guess this isn't too bad of a 1. They are pulling far they ahead of us here, by the history. way. They're about $15,000 above us. I bought Burst Fire, uh, that's a tier 3, um, when you shoot ours. somebody you get uh, increased fire rate for a couple seconds and it kind of just keeps refreshing itself, so as long as you stay Our on somebody, has it just kind of ramps your uh, firing rate up a pretty decent amount. We got a lot of, uh, we got a lot of uh, flex, flex items this round. So I didn't have to worry about like deleting items or anything, because I'm not super familiar with like what should go and what shouldn't. So I'm happy I just we got all these flex slots. Doing a little push a Rooney here. There's a big team fight happening on the other side of the map. So I think right about here, I eyeball the team fight. I'm like, oh geez, I better go join that. Then I see Abrams going in and I'm just like, whatever. And Pocket's there. I'm like, whatever, dude. If they this lose, they lose. The I'm just gonna keep Which is absolutely the right call because I take both these turrets. And we end up winning that team fight too. So I made the right decision staying. This person ganks me from behind and then just lets me leave, which was kind of weird. I don't know why she'd bother getting behind me if she's just going to watch me float away. But like I said, during laning phase, I don't think she's too hot. She's probably just as new as I am, honestly. I just, I'm just having a better round. I do a little jungling here. It takes way longer than I think it's going to. This is why I miss Ricochet, dude. Ricochet makes jungling so easy, but it's so expensive. Kind of help the Mo here. I'm just like, whatever, he can take that last one. I think we share the money anyway. Get some pepper in. Him. I thought they were way lower. I'm like, I'm gonna hold somebody, but then I realized that uh, they were nobody was low. Then this Yamato just has it out for me, dude. This is the beginning where this Yamato just hard focuses me any chance she gets. I think she was a little upsetty spaghetti. 
about my question mark chats and my teabagging and stuff. They pray for salvation. This is where our rivalry starts. Come. Hope you win whatever fight you're about to start. So I get Sharpshooter, which is the upgrade to long range. So now my bullets have even less drop off. So I can shoot a little farther away now. I can't do like a full blown sniper on the roof kind of thing. But... This is just the beginning. Seven goes in for a big ol' and dies again. Not the last time that'll happen either. I was thinking about Alton, but I didn't want to mess it up, so I just left clicked her to death. Hit her with the ult there, because I felt bad about not ulting the other person. I'm thinking about clearing the church, but then I'm like, I'll help this shit. I don't want anything dumb to happen where she gets away. They will all fall. Yamato! Yamato! Give her the old left click business, a little teabag action. She returns as a favor, don't worry. I think they changed it where the towers don't take as much ability damage anymore. I don't know if that's just me or what. I see Shivs behind me. He's doing pretty decent in this game, so I feel pretty comfortable. Until I see him going away, so I'm like, I'll leave too. Bad habits, hard to break. Go all the way back to base. A bit of advice. Don't get caught. I buy Pristine Emblem. That's a tier three, three thousand uh, dollars. I do more damage to people if they're above fifty percent health. And then my ult. Oh, speaking of ult, I completely whip this ult. Oh, miss. He dies because of me. Boot miss again. I just left clicker. I type my B here. Uh, Cause I definitely could have just left clicked her and killed her during her ult. I wanted to be fancy with it, and she died because of it. And this seven gets absolutely gang banged. He gets ganked by like four people. Uh, like I was saying, pristine emblem. You do more damage to people at over fifty percent. My ult does more damage to people under fifty percent. So I think it's a pretty. I think it works pretty well. Because getting them below 50% as quickly as possible is going to be good when I'm better with my ult, because then I can do more damage with my ult. You can see down in the bottom, my first death is coming up here soon. This game still has so much going on that these longer games, they kind of like, they kind of wear down your mental, dude. Like, I don't mean like I was getting salty or anything, I was just getting like tired. Like straight up, like having to hit all these buttons, remember everything, it's just a lot that I'm not used to yet. So I kind of start to waver here in my, my skills, my abilities. But then I bring it back in the end. I go through a redemption arc right here. We take a great clear with her three, which is why I love her. I'm overstaying here. I kind of have too much trust in this mode. He's not doing too hot. As you can see, he's like $10,000 behind, so I don't know why I'm putting any trust in him at all. Kind of let that mode debate me a little bit into a fight. But I get out of there. How do I die here? I actually don't remember. I think Yamato finally gets me. I'm just walking, just chilling. Might be a little farther up. I rise. So I go hard in this fight. I two in. And my whole team starts dying. 
I'm just like, damn. There goes Pocket. There goes Shiv. It's just me and this Mo. I don't know what McGinnis is doing just walking around back there. And this is when Yamato just gives me the business. Easy kill for her. Definitely got jabated kind of into that fight. I buy the silver bullet upgrade where when you, uh, when you, what's it called? When you use an ability, it reloads your magazine. So I put it on my three. So you can shoot down your magazine before you reload, hit your three, then you got a full magazine again. I don't really do it that well. Because I'm not super used to it yet, but it's there. I, I, I have the ability to do it. So we have absolutely come back money-wise. We're only $2,000 down. This 7, don't know where he goes. I cannot find this 7 for the life of me. He disappears. He gets like a haze invisibility thing or something. I'm sitting here, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. No idea where he goes, he's dead, whatever. I'm not backing down. Our McGinnis just sitting in base. Again, her and the Mo, don't really know what's going on there. They just weren't doing that hot, but it, it's okay. It happens to the best of us. Finding higher ground. They only have one fight left. Boom! Big ult there, big ult. I type out, ouch. <laughs> and this is when I get really punished. People who like instant karma, this is what happens after I type out, ouch. There's Yamato again. She does not like my attitude. She does not like the, the Kenobi sass. The, I'm trying to save up for Ricochet here, but I'm pretty sure I buy something. Good. I don't know. I don't know why Wraith is tap typing good. I end up getting Headhunter. Increase your headshot damage, and when you headshot people, I don't exactly remember... I think, I knew for a fact you heal when you headshot. It's something else too. I think you slow them or you do more damage or something. Basically more headshot damage and you heal when you headshot, that easy. So the Yamato is probably feeling pretty good about shutting my big mouth. I'm going back in. I like how everybody has their own little zipline animation. Like, she holds the butt of her sniper. Like, Shiv, like, I think uses his leg patch. Or Pocket uses his, uh, Stay put. suitcase. Summoning crows. Again, I have no idea why I'm following this mode. He's so underleveled, so under money. Walker has been defeated. No reason to follow that Mo. I go back with this pocket. Pocket's doing pretty, pretty damn good, so I feel safe by the pocket. Do a little more farming here. My macro game isn't super hot yet. I have a pretty, I have a pretty decent uh, macro game in league, so I feel like I'll just have to learn, like anything. Them. Here's the Yamato. What now, Yamato? What now? Boom. Got her with the headshot as she went away. I go back to being toxic. She got two kills on me, so 
feels pretty good to go back and hurt. I end up seeing that haze while she's invisible, which is pretty cool. I was thinking about ulting her, but I didn't want to mess up again, so I just left clicked her. Let's go mid. Oh, I miss those jars. Do I get them? Nope, I miss them again. This is just the beginning. In this mo seem to find each other being alone, the two of us, for some reason. Maybe he was sticking with me, maybe I was sticking with him, I don't know. Is descending. Our team's doing mid. I was thinking about pushing to be like a distraction, but then I'm like, whatever, I'll do that too. They already kill it by the time I get there, so I decided to just do a little jungling up here. A spirit urn is waiting to play. Thinking again, really wish I had a ricochet right now. I would have it too if I didn't buy Headhunter. But Headhunter got me that Yamato kill, so I don't know. Headhunter is probably worth it. You're probably noticing a very uh, distinct lack of active reload. Just, I'm just not good at it. That's all there is to it. I'll probably put it in my build eventually, but... Until I get good at it, no reason to put it in there. It's just a waste of money. This is where I kind of pop off at the end here. I got my head out of my ass. I start focusing again. And I go, go hard. Oh, snipe that seven out of his ult again. Get a little poke on that raid. Kill that shrine. I'm looking at my money here. I'm thinking about going to get Ricochet, but I'm like, I don't know. The game's already over. The crows are Completely whiffed that crow like a badass, dude. Completely whiffed that stake like a badass. Summoning crows. Just absolutely manhandled. That headhunter came in huge right there. I just absolutely gave that to the business. I, I thought about going to get Ricochet, but I was like, whatever, let's just end it. That Hayes thinks he's going to do something, I don't know. I kill that Wraith real quick, just click it, just M1. Geist is just shooting random bullets at me because she's frustrated, I guess. I stake Yamato and kill her with the headshot. One last little tea bag for the road. And I actually didn't realize how close I came down. I thought I had like full health. I thought I was just shooting this thing for no reason. Like just no care in the world. Dip down to 300 health and we win. Boom. I threw out the GG because I'm not an absolute monster. I was just a little frustrated. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to try to get better. I hope you guys like it. I hope you really enjoy this. This is a big game that I just want. I just want to play this game and I want you guys to play it with me. So let's do this, man. Let's, let's, all, let's all fucking, let's do this together. Have a great one.